Hi guys, uh, today we are going to see voltage drop calculation that means the cable voltage drop calculation for example. So some more guys are asking for the how to calculate the for a cable voltage drop for example. So take the some example here. So this is our isolator for 400 ampere isolator. So for the, this one is for the load side and then this one is a main panel. The supply from came from main panel to the load side. So the supply came from main source panel to destination panel. So here we run for the some cables for the joining these two panels. So that cable run. So how much meter we are going to use for the connecting the two panels, the, the source to destination. So see here then 190 meter we can use for to connect these two panels. So this is the distance of cable. So after that the load current, how much the load current is the, here, the load current is 400 ampere and then the finally the voltage system voltage the system voltage is a 415 voltage here so after the finally the some key points we need to keep it in mind so the voltage drop around says 2.5 percentage and then don't worry about about the single phase and three phase this is the same for single phase and three phase and then number of runs the how many times cable has been run and then copper or aluminium so the copper aluminium is same voltage drop calculation formula the voltage drop allowance has been differ from the different areas and the system voltage also differ from the different areas the 415 and 440 and 400 whatever it is you have you can mention that one and then now for the above examples too we calculate the some voltage drop on here so the voltage drop formula is already we known for the VAP is equal to VP into 1000 and SV divided by I and L into 100 so for the example 2.5 into 1415 voltage and then 400 into 190 and 100 so this is the above data to be calculated for the single run 0.13 percentage voltage drop has, has been occurred that means the two run means 0.27 percentage voltage drop has been occurred so see you can easily calculate for single run after that you can multiply for the how many runs so two runs means you can multiply for two so here the two point less than 2.5 percentage the voltage drop has been occurred so this is a good one so this is a way of calculating voltage drop